everyone. So today is an absolutely gorgeous autumn day and um, it was so beautiful that I decided to go on a little walk. Um, kind of a hike actually. <laughs> and it's just so really beautiful here. So I'm gonna show you because I felt like doing something, you know, being active, doing fit, but I can't really do like hardcore workouts and stuff yet. And I also want to test out my new camera, the brand new Canon Legria Mini. So I don't even know if you guys can see the view. There's like Alps here in the background. And that's the panorama where I'm at right now. Oh my God, this panorama is like incredible. It's so gorgeous. I wish that you guys could like be here and see this. Oh, it's like so gorgeous. Such a clear day. And you can see the entire, entire scene there. So gorgeous. And then behind me there's like little farmhouses and stuff and I've parked my car down there. It smells like manure here. <laughs> But that's the smell of nature. Oh, and it's so nice. Like, I love just going on walks in the fall. So now I'm just passing these cute little farmhouses, as you can see. There's one here. And I'm just passing these happy cows. <laughs> just grazing. And these are dairy cows. Come here. Oh, look, this one's coming. Cows are very, very curious. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> daddy. Yeah, Daddy do. <laughs> daddy do. Yeah. That was my cow experience. <laughs> mm. Hand smells. Actually, it smells like grass. I wonder why. <laughs> Oh look, there's more curious cows. Hi, Blo. Hi. Hmm? Hi. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> look at this, it's like a freaking postcard. I had to drive quite a way to, well, not quite a way, I had to drive maybe like half an hour to get here. And I, my car is in the service right now, so I have a, a car from the garage and it doesn't have a GPS, like a navigation system. So I had to find how to get here, so I just used my phone for the GPS and so I just totally drained the battery. But it was worth it because it's so nice here. Look at this cute little farming house. The little flowers everywhere. So I'm going up quite a steep path now. Oh, to the top of this thing. Whew. So, oh, it's so nice. The views up here is incredible. You're not going to believe it. continuing up this way which is through a forest path and it's really steep Whew, check it out so just going uphill here so I reached that top of that little hill you can kind of see the mountains there in the background I've never been up here before it's a beautiful place to go walk if you live in Switzerland and you live in the Bernese area it's this is um, near Ebersold. It's a little forest and then it slopes off down there. And I came from over there and so now I'm walking through this little path here. Running would be awesome if I could do that. <laughs> so obviously I can't go running yet because my back is not fine yet. I need to give that ample time to heal because I don't want it to happen again. Because if it's not fully healed yet and you do a lot of exercise it can you can have it again. So the injury that I had and it wasn't very fun it was very painful and it is kind of like depressing me now because it's not 
you know, it's, I, I still feel like a little bit handicapped through it. I feel like I'm kind of fragile and I can't really do everything that I would want to do normally. But stuff like this helps, just going out for like a walk and just, you know, trying to stay active because I haven't really been able to do sports since like August. And for someone who kind of has a, a routine and is doing that all the time, it's, it's hard to have that long of a break, you know, not being able to really do anything. Look, a little horsey. Maybe I can, oh, I think that's a pony actually, a pony and a horse. Look at the horsey. Let's see if he wants to come to me. Horsey! Oh look, he's coming! <laughs> I must have a vibe with animals. What's the magic horse call? Oh, he's coming, look. Oh, Daddy! Hi! Hi! You're cute! Oh, so sweet. Hi, horsey! Hmm? Oh, you're a good horsey. Good horsey you are. Oh man, now my hand stinks. <laughs> huh? Hey, too. Hey. Good horsey. Good horsey. Hmm? Your daddy, too. Oh, He's a friendly horse. Discover nature while making friends with the animals. Oh, yeah. I am the farm animal whisperer. <laughs> So I'm back on that way um, to that bench where I was at before and back with the beautiful panorama behind me. I don't even know if you can see it because the sun is like right there. So um, this path is also really nice. It's just along the edge of the forest here. You can see that. Look, I found some baby cows. Aren't they cute? Hi. Oh, they're really scared, so I'm not gonna go too close. A lot of these like little farms that I've showed you, obviously they're not very profitable, you know? If you have a little farm with like a hundred cows, you might not be able to live off that in Switzerland because the prices for farm products are obviously not very high. So a lot of these farmers get subsidies from the Swiss government to be able to do their farming here. So in a way, the farming here is not very economical, you know, like it would make more sense to have just a mass livestock somewhere. They still do make profit, but they do have to get subsidies from the government to be able to maintain it. And at first I was like really against that because I was like, why should they be subsidized? But now I'm like, it's so much better, you know, because the milk, you can also buy milk locally. So you know that these cows like produce, the milk that they produce tastes like, actually tastes so much better. Look, I've got a friend over here who agrees. Hello. So what do you think, Mr. Cow? You think it's better? Hmm? You think it's better here? It's actually better like for the animals and for nature too. Cause I mean, where else are you gonna get happy cows like this? And I mean, that's why we pay more for our meat and for our dairy and stuff. Um, and why the government is subsidized. <laughs> Look at them, they're all looking at me. Go goose! But that's obviously the benefit of having, you know, farming that's, it's more expensive and it's not, it's not very cost effective, but it is more, I guess, in tune with nature. I'm just gonna drive home and there's a place that I want to stop at on the way home that sells uh, pumpkins. And it's really cool. They have like a, there's a pumpkin farm there where you can buy lots of pumpkins. Okay, so I made stop at this little um, stall, like I said, where you can buy like local things and look at all these freaking pumpkins. So these are all different kinds of pumpkins. So this is how you pay, you just add up how much you bought and then you put the money in here. And then here you can see little little messages that people left and I left a message too. You see, I wrote this one. Yay, pumpkins. Cause I've actually already purchased stuff here. This is my second time here. This is at 
um, Brunnenhof um, apples. See, there's apples in here, and then over there is like potatoes. These are all different kinds of apples. And I bought last time, I bought these apples. They are so good. And then these are pears. So I just bought five different pumpkins. Oh, I also got a spaghetti. Oh god, this is gonna be impossible getting across the road. Oh gosh, no, I'm gonna have to go this way and then turn somewhere. I'm just gonna do a U-turn here. So yeah, that was a really, I love that pumpkin stand. It's only, I don't know, I think they only have it like in the in the fall, but maybe during the spring, maybe they have other stuff there. It's in Opligen. They have so many different kinds of pumpkins, like also pumpkins that you can't buy in the supermarket, like the spaghetti, uh, spaghetti pumpkin. And they have like so many like Japanese varieties. And now I'm like totally eating pumpkin like almost every night for dinner because it makes such a good like side dish. Um, you know, instead of having uh, carbs like pasta or potatoes or something like that, I will just have a pumpkin because it's actually a squash. Let me know how you guys are liking this new camera angle because I'm really liking this uh, this new camera. It's the Legria Mini, which is pretty new on the market. Ooh, now I can step on it. So yeah, I find the GoPro sometimes a little bit harder to use. It's not as user friendly. This one is much more user friendly and also this one has a much better sound quality and you can use it like free-handed. Like right now I'm just driving and I'm not having to pay attention to the camera so it's not like unsafe. I'm loving this little car. <gasps> oh, it's so fun. Please ignore that noise because my automatic vacuum See over there, he's going crazy. So um, yeah, that's the noise. Woo, he's just sweeping up the place. So yeah, these are the pumpkins that I got. Um, this is the spaghetti squash, which some of you might know. This is a Japanese variety, which I don't remember the name because <laughs> they all had like weird names for me. Um, this is an acorn squash, which I already had yesterday and they are so delicious. And then this one is also a Japanese variety. I don't remember the name. Um, this one I'm also, I'm gonna bake all of these cause that's how I prefer to make the pumpkins. Isn't this such a funny shape? Oh look, my little vacuum cleaner is coming. Hello, Mr. Vacuum. So yeah, this one is another Japanese variety and this one is supposed to have also really strong chestnut aroma. These are decorative uh, squash and I bought these also last time when I was there. Um, they are, they're so cool. So these are not edible. They're just meant for decoration. I put them in this like uh, jar or this, not jar, the um, this platter that I have. So I'm just cooking dinner. Bok choy and spinach and tofu. It's a smoked tofu and little cherry tomatoes. And I made some little sauce for that. There is actually a, a recipe for this on my channel. And then I'm also gonna be having my pumpkin. So I'm just roasting that. It's almost done. Yummy, yeah, it smells really good. So I roasted that on like about 180, 190, something like that for about an hour. Just put a little bit of spices and a little bit of oil on the top of the pumpkin just to give them a little bit of flavor. So here's my dinner. This is the pumpkin that I've now taken out of the shell and um, yeah, it's steaming and really hot. And then this is the vegetables on that side, the bok choy, the spinach, tomatoes, and the smoked tofu. So I'm going to eat my dinner now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know if you wanna see more um, stuff like this. So I'll try and post more on my vlog channel. I know I've been getting a little bit behind on that. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye everyone.